Russia's invasion of Ukraine is already impacting the near-term economic outlook for Sub-Saharan Africa. Sharply higher food and energy prices are going to hit the region's most vulnerable households, exacerbate food insecurity, raise poverty rates, and possibly lead to social unrest. Countries that rely on wheat imports directly from Russia and Ukraine are going to be impacted by surging costs of food prices, but they're not the only ones. Prices have risen for most other food items and all countries in the region will feel these effects. We expect the effects of higher energy costs to be more uneven across the region. Higher oil prices will generate a windfall gain for the region's eight oil exporters. But for the other 37 countries from Sub-Saharan Africa, higher oil prices will worsen trade imbalances and increase living costs as well as transportation costs. Consequently, the region's growth has lost momentum. Economic activity in 2022 is now expected to slow to 3.8%, down from 4.5% in 2021. The economic recovery is expected to accelerate in 2023, with growth trending at about 4% next year and beyond. But this pace of growth is not enough to make up for the lost ground from the pandemic. It also makes creating jobs fighting climate change and achieving the region's sustainable development goals significantly harder to achieve. Moreover, the economic outlook remains highly uncertain. In addition to the negative impacts of the war in Ukraine, inadequate COVID vaccination rates leave countries exposed to new waves. Security issues and risks of political and social unrest also remain a concern. First and foremost, on health, the region needs to accelerate its vaccination campaign to contain risks of new COVID-19 waves. And on economic policy, governments are facing three short-term priorities. The first is shielding the most vulnerable households from rising food and energy prices through targeted transfers or subsidies without aggravating debt vulnerabilities excessively. Second, Containing inflation without undermining the recovery will also be important. Central banks need to be prepared to raise rates if necessary, guarding against financial stability risks and maintaining a credible policy framework. And third, managing exchange rate adjustments resulting from rising interest rates in advanced economies and greater uncertainty due to the war in Ukraine will also be important. Now, looking beyond the pandemic, and current geopolitical tensions, strong, inclusive, and sustainable growth will require crucial economic reforms. Broadly, three areas of such reforms are, first, enhancing economic diversification. Second is maximizing the private sector's potential through strengthened trade integration, private fund mobilization, and digital innovation. And third, addressing the challenges posed by climate change by investing in adaptation and seizing the opportunities offered by the transition to new energy sources.